Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. The Chunk account lives on. Uh, I know the scenery around me might be a bit of a spoiler. I'm keeping very zoomed in and with my minimap off to give you at least a little bit of suspense and surprise. It's a very far way back for me to go to get an intro clip in my original chunk, and I didn't think to get one when I was still there. So, hopefully you don't mind too much. Also, I hope you all enjoy today's episode. It's going to be mostly a collection of quick little clips. Most of it's just progress and going through the bar crawl. There wasn't too, too much to do. Uh, not that there weren't grinds. The grinds I had to do were pretty intense. But let's just say uh, I'm doing pretty well through them. And you'll find out where we are currently later in the video. Please bear with me for any editing mishaps or weird little bugs that might happen with the video. I know they're not always 100% the best, and uh, that's on me. I, I try my hardest, but I don't have a background in editing. I don't have any formal teaching in video editing or editing in general. Uh, I like to think that I'm pretty silly in my edits and that they're okay, but I don't know. And if you know anything that I could do to maybe make them a little better, or anything that I do that you don't like, let me know, and if you don't know how to fix it, that's okay. You can just tell me, like, you don't like this, and that's fine. I just want to know. Anyway, hope you enjoy, and remember, there is going to be a juggling section at the end of the video, as always with the Chunk Man. I think I missed it on the last episode, so I'm going to make up for it on this one. Alright, that ogre is 2,000 ogres slain. Pick up the big bone and give it a berry for, look at that, uh, GE price is 1.14 mil if I was picking everything up, which I'm not really, so I figure I will say I'm just picking up the uh, herb seeds, the allotment seeds, and the, uh, the wild blood seeds that drop. I'm not taking the bush or like cactus seeds. 71 ranged, we are 2,227 ogres in. Hello everybody, it is another day, another time to kill some ogres, but I got this bone last night, and we have 50 prayer. We can now bless holy and unholy symbols. Nice. I almost missed it, but we are at 2,500 ogre kills exactly for... 1.506 mil. Almost exactly 1.5 mil. Pretty neat. We just got 65 hit points, 34 more to go till we have 99. Just got Longbone number 4 at 2,541 kills. Nice. We still have 819 uh, Mithril Arrows, and then we go on to using our 5,782 Bronze. Whoop. 72 range, just a little after that long bone. This is a tough decision for me. I really like to hang on to my frog tokens pretty much with an iron fist. If I can get a frog token, I'm gonna have that sucker uh, in my bank, in my inventory, wherever I can store them, I'm gonna keep track of them. I really only have ropes that I could drop, but I'm not gonna drop them yet. Uh, I'm gonna leave this on the ground. I haven't picked it up yet, and I had full inventory space, so it's just gonna sit there for about two, three hours. Maybe I'll have some room with my arrows by then. Alright, this is our last mithril arrow. It's time for the slow grind of just shooting a crossbow. We can pick up our frog token, so you know, silver lining. We have an extra inventory slot too, so I don't have to drop stuff to pick up my bones. It's pretty great. Honestly, I'm okay with the bronze. This book is going to be the first 15 crafting XP on the account, which is going to be huge once we get to Falador because we will have a furnace that we can use baby implings to get seaweed and train crafting with. We're just about to get to 3,000 ogre slain. We're at 2841 currently. This is our fifth longbone, and I'd rather not pick up that whiteberry seed. We're going to bury this for another 15 prayer XP. Very nice. Hopefully this imp gets us something good. I had to wait a few minutes for him to come in. Nope, not quite, but you know what? Fire runes for the ground. 
Uh, also, I just got my third gout tuber at 300% in Taibaiwana on my main, which is uh, really under drop rate. That's like just getting to 100% for the third time. And boy howdy, I'm getting spooned. I just missed it because this ogre decided to smack me a second ago here. But we got 73 range, almost 51 prayer, and almost 66 hit points. Damn, I haven't gotten to say hey to Molly in a hot minute. Time to go see what that hot piece of action wants today. Oh, girl, you're looking nice in your green. You got the hair up. Oh, you're looking good, mm, girl. All right, I know what I'm doing here. Uh-huh. Let's get in. Oh, that is easy. She's literally right there. Whap. Speed run. World record Molly event. Three seconds from entering the door. All right, let's get our goal. What are you gonna give me, Molly? Four uncut rubies that are noted? Yeah, I'll figure out how to hold on to those bad boys. Thank you very much. Just past 51 prayer at 3,096 ogres. Also, there's 66 HP. Told you it'd be coming soon. Here's Longbone number 6 at 3,167 kill count. Another 15 prey XP. We got another Book of Knowledge random event here. And that's going to be going on to con crafting uh, for 15 more XP and 30 crafting XP total. 53 to the next level. Ah, very nice. We've got our 20th Renar Seed. Our stacks in our inventory are starting to look very nice, and the total value of this is 1,073,160. It took 3,355 kills for that, by the way. Oh, you know we had another Molly random event. I didn't capture it in time, but you know what I did get? Four heckin' diamonds. Oh yeah, we love our diamonds. All right, we've gotten 74 range. This is gonna be longbone number seven at 3,486 kills. Longbone number eight. Oh my goodness, are we gonna get a double digit stack? 3,606 kills in. Oh, it happened. It happened, ladies and gentlemen. We got spooned. 3,625 kills. We get the curve bone. I'm gonna drop these rubies. We have some diamonds. We have some snapdragons. I want to bring one of the heads to the bank with me. I can get rubies elsewhere, but we can move on. So I thought we could maybe leave the rope and then go over and place another rope and teleport and have ropes to use, but we can't do it that way because you immediately travel on the rope. Okay, well, all that we're missing is a couple piles of Yanger berries. I've got my main over there killing, well actually no, those are the cannons killing the ogre, I thought I was doing that. We gotta get our 5kc on these soldiers and the captain and such, and then we'll be buying our beer. So I can't do the hand in the sand quest. Uh, I can't complete it, but I can do some more in Brimhaven. If I can get some construction levels, I can move my house to Brimhaven and then move it back to Yanil and kind of flip flop around to get to the two. Uh, so I do have a direct teleport to enter them. We have some, some connected junk seers. Uh, either way, my frog token's still chilling over there. I got, you know, another frog token. I had dropped that first one. I really wanted to keep it, but we got the frog token again. Um, I mainly just needed some coins to buy some beers and brewski, so I should be okay to pick it back up after. And we've got our tower guard kills, our soldier kills. We just have to find, where is he? Where's the dang captain? He's somewhere in here. I gotta find him, one second. Okay, we found uh, Colonel, Colonel, Roddick, you know, the legend. Uh, he's just inside of these doors here. Anyway, we're gonna go and get our special brew. Hello, hello, bartender. What can you get you? What's on the menu? Dragon bitter green ale? Mm, I want something for a little special card here. The fire brandy. Oh yeah, I'd like to try that. Woohoo! A blood of flame when I drink it. 
my vision blurs and staggers slightly. Oh, I make out! I can make out that he signed the card this time. We're going places. These are my chunk tasks. All I had left was to obtain a curved bone. You can pause for a second if you want to see what else I had to do, but not everything was actually accurate to this chunk. And it is time to roll a chunk. We have three available chunks, so 33% uh, chance of whichever one we'll get, Falador, East Arty, or the Lumberyard. Oh, this is gonna take some thinking power, but we're in East Arty. Okay, okay, let's try it out, see what we gotta do. It says I just have a couple diary tasks, like to check uh, what pets I have insured and to use the altar there. I think there's a couple more things I can do. Some stuff I can maybe pick up, Some a lot of enemies I can kill, that's for sure. So we're gonna kill a lot of enemies. Oh yeah, we're still Ultimate Iron Man. Take a look at our collection log if you'd like for a moment. We are going to be going up to our RD chunk here. Luckily it's quite close to where we currently are, so it's not gonna take very long to get up there. Uh, the only eventful thing that happened during the run-up, you'll have it the full run-up so you can see my path I took in the background here. Uh, only thing that happened, I got a music track I could have avoided, I just wasn't thinking with my brain, and I'm sorry about that. Well, there's a lot of enemies here in the zoo. They don't drop too, too much for us, but they drop a couple things. I'm gonna kill, sadly, five penguins, uh, then five scorpions, and five pit scorpions, and five monkeys, five jogers, five hill giants, and there's a few more as well that I gotta kill. Uh, there's gonna be most of it just going by here pretty quickly in the background just gonna show you all the kills that I got recorded for it also I should mention how lucky we are that we didn't end up using all of our bronze bolts here because we still have ammo to shoot these with I would be pretty uh, SOL otherwise sadly some of these enemies don't actually come up with KC's in the drops uh, I did go for an insult scorpion head though at least Oh yeah, there's snakes, which I can't get snake hide from, sadly, and camels and wolves as well. Just the rest of the things here. got a grimy Renara weed and I can't even pick it up. I mean, I don't have herb lore yet, so it doesn't really matter, but that sucks. Uh, we're killing up the Jogers here, and I kept calling this a hill giant. It actually is a Cyclops, so there we go. Joker slain, and we can move on from the zoo because those camels also aren't killable, so I'm gonna check my insured pets and I'm going to pray at the altar up there in a second. I don't need to buy any reclaims, but I can buy reclaims now, that's cool. But there's the easy task done. Let's go up here and check out this little altar. All you gotta do is pray at it with some points missing, and there we go. Uh, I th there's a couple other things I can get around here. There's not much I can do in, per se, this, uh, church, but I can talk to this guy. I, w I wondered if he had any like, quest info or anything like that for me, but no, he's just telling me about the plague propaganda, which kind of sucky, but that's okay. Uh, thick black tar-like substance from the nose and eyes. Ooh, 
I, I've never seen anybody like that, sir, but okay, what's upstairs? Are you hiding anything? Any item spawns? You've got some crates, and more ladders, and okay, we're at the top of the turret. Well, there's nothing up here. Great. Hello there. Peace be with you, friend. Hmm. I think that's the wrong game. Uh, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Hello, how are you? I've been better. <laughs> well, what's wrong? You may or may not be aware, but a plague is spread. However, some sheep escaped from a farm. You wouldn't believe it, but they've inflicted with the plague. And I gotta deal with these sheep and put them into a safe enclosure and kill them. Fortunately, nobody wants to catch the plague and shear these sheep. Do you wanna do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Well, that's excellent news. Just go up north and you'll be able to deal with those sheep for me. Absolutely wonderful chap. Great, thank you for your work. I appreciate it. But uh, they, they do have the plague, so don't die. And I have some poison for you, but you can't carry it. Well, I'm not gonna do this quest yet. I can't start it, can't, well, I can start it, but I can't go up north and do anything with it. But I can start Sheep Herder, so that's pretty cool. I can talk to the doctor. And, uh, I don't really need to know about the plague again, sir. I just wanted to see if I could progress this anymore, get the, uh, essentially event RPG that you aim and shoot at sheep, but if not, that's fine. That's cool. Alright, who knows about picking Ross's door? Like, who else comes over here and picks this lock? Because if you don't, you're missing out. This guy's, uh, normally a Mahogany Homes, uh, task. You can repair some stuff in his house. Um, say hi to his wife, I guess, if you want. She has a cool bronze necklace. Let me kill her, see if I can get it. Uh, probably won't. I don't think it's on her drop table, just normal woman drop table, but either way. You can't kill Ross, but upstairs, there's some chests we can thieve from for nature runes, which I'm going to do. I just had a quiz random, so I got a mystery box. Gonna drop this, pick it up, open it. Ah, just a smelly old bit. Sadly, I can't give that to my main. I do collect them on my main. I collect junk like that. Uh, I did bring them all over here, though, to open these to make sure I don't get poisoned and I don't get teleported. And it looks like these chests are safe and I can use them. Good to go. I have dropped over to my main the uh, quorum seeds I had so I can hold nature runes, and we are going to have 250 nature runes. I had a sandwich lady random, so there's where the chocolate bar is just chilling from. And uh, it doesn't show up in like KC or anything there, so it's just the nature runes I've got from picking those chests with 9 XP at a time. And I also got some GP from the GP one. I want to talk to Jericho, see if there's anything I can do over in his house. Because uh, as we know, I like to explore as much as I can of these chunks and really get whatever I can from them. Uh, looks like Jericho doesn't really have much for me. There's some pigeon cages in the back of his house that I can't actually get to. Uh, well, mm, oh, no, I can't. I can't. I can go back there. There's one tile that allows me to go back there. Um, and he doesn't really have much to tell me. So that's sadly how it is. There is a furnace here, which is pretty nice. We're just going to keep going, though. Uh, I've used that furnace... A lot in my past it's a pretty nice furnace it's not the best it's pretty terrible in comparison to a lot of furnaces either way we have Amed's adventuring supply over here which sells bronze arrows and I happen to have a U short bow so I could uh, sell possibly something if I want to sell something and then buy a bunch of arrows to keep training here or in general which is pretty nice like the 500 bronze arrows is always nice even though I do have the rock I can't currently get back to this chunk, so I can't leave it, and if I need to get a specific drop, this will be how I do it. We are in the palace. I gotta attack some paladins. Uh, there's a few things I can actually thieve in here, if I can figure out a way to uh, train up my thieving uh, from in here. Worst case, I do have the woman inside of Ross's house, but um, if you remember my guard shenanigans from... Rock. I think we can find something a little better and more consistent to deal with. Either way, I'm gonna do Ring Around the Rosy with this Paladin until he's- there we go, he's safe spotted. Uh, and then I'm gonna kill four more of them after this. There is not very much to do uh, in this part of the castle. I can't go downstairs, that is to say. There's nothing 
that I can do about that. I won't be able to go down there and do uh, death altar stuff for a very long time, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, upstairs here we've got some paladins. There's the black scimitar spawn, as well as the hard chest up there. We'll talk about that later. There's more paladins up here. Um, there might be something higher upstairs. We'll go up there, see what else is going on. We've got some archers to kill. Well, let me get these five archers killed first. We've got our fifth archer here about to be slain. Decided to do some melee, do some training. And obviously, no, I'm burying those bones. Gotta get that prayer XP. Gonna need 70 prayer for Falador, so you know, it's part of the equation. Anyway, we've got my main here. I'm gonna test it on them and see how that goes. Look at that, it's main vision. Gotta pick the lock to get in here. Of course, I gotta fail to pick the lock. Don't worry about it. Gonna keep failing to pick this lock. Any day now, I'll get in here. Okay. Just kick the door. There we go, that's what I needed to do. I had to give it a little kick. So yeah, we do have the black scimitar in here. Which, I believe is an easy clue step. That's pretty cool. And that's safe to get, so that is A-OK. -okay. Uh, and I'm gonna test this with no lockpicks, since I don't have lockpicks at the moment. I can get one from a young imp, but I'd rather not have to do it. Let's see if I can still open the door. Yes, we can. We can still open the door. Very good. Took a few attempts. Now I gotta test that chest. That's the most important thing, because this is a chest that will teleport you, and... Oh, didn't mean to aggro the pally. Uh, it's not a good idea to use this chest on a chunk man, unless you have a lot of already unlocked. And no traps, and I've activated a trap. Oh, that's great. Do I not have the... I, I don't have the level. Okay, I gotta get the thieving level to test this out. We will be right back at 72 thieving. I wanted to have a black scimitar, so I picked the lock, hopped worlds, took my scimitar, and I'm still training to 72. Oh beautiful warrior women, please don't be mad, I must beat you up. Just beat me up instead. I do have to get those knights outside, too. Not really sure what they've got for drops, but, you know, there might be something. Anyway, this is gonna be the first of five KCs for warrior women. Ah, uh, there we go. That's all five done. Gotta get those bones, bury them up. And then moving on to the Knights of Ardoin. Also, somebody's speeding by outside my house. This is the fifth set of bones. Uh, you know, great drops. Now we gotta start pickpocketing and I'll start with the paladin here Ooh, of course there's the classic birdies see if I can't get him this time maybe hey let's go 152 XP that's nice uh, Knight of Ardoin ow of course of course try again ah oh, that's better 50 coins okay definitely the warrior men uh, there have some better better coin and XP I think the warrior women are the same. We're gonna find out. Uh, they might be lower. We're not sure. Oh, they hit for twos. Interesting. Ow. Okay, good. I only had uh, one hit left, really, I could take there. Now, we do have some more we have to do in the zoo. Not just those initial five KCs. There is. Uh, a couple untradeable drops, it, mainly the giant key. I can't pick it up, and I don't have teleport runes to grab it, so that kind of sucks. Either way, I'm going to restore my prey, which is uh, a nice little part of this chunk. I can just come here and get full prayer whenever I need. I got the insult giant head, forgot I had the ogre instead. I also got the giant key, not a bad kill count, 51. This is our 28th collection log slot. Sadly, we can't save the drops. Okay, getting some uh, gratzes and whatnot on the key. 
I noticed while I was killing them, there's a hero that wanders right over here. I don't know if I can kill him or if I can pickpocket him, but I'm gonna dang well try. Okay, he retreats. That's not great. I definitely can't shoot him, like, at all. Okay, we're getting crafty. We're bringing out the dragon spear and pushing the hero in. I think this might work. Hang on, I gotta spec him again. Let's try it. Okay, he's in. All right, we've got our hero. And I can't pickpocket him, no inventory space. Drop something. 80 thieving. Well, he's not in my chunk. And he's not in my chunk in the way that a guard was in Falador. But it is a hard task to... Or is it an elite task? Yeah, elite task to pickpocket him. Uh, so I... I can do that elite task. I'm gonna have to think about this a little bit to see what I really want to do. I can do this, and now he's aggroed on my main. I can splash on my main and I could pickpocket him, technically. As I typed, you know, I can splash. But I don't know if I want to for this. God damn it, man, why you gotta give me 80 thieves, bro? Why? We're here, we've got a bunch of yellow spice to boost our thieving, and if we can get the plus five, I can test this. Aha, negative boost. Okay, we got the boost. Open the box, open the chest. Whatever this is, we just gotta open it up. I got a thousand coins, a shark, and an adamant ore, and I've completed a hard task in the Ardoin area. But now I am two chunks away. So I cannot use this, and that is why. I seek a hero to go on an important mission. I'm a mighty hero! I require the staff of Armadil. Um, I don't. I'm not stealing from a god. Can you give me your pen? <coughs> um, sir, uh, uh, sorry, uh, I don't know what that spell is. Can you please give me your pendant? And maybe wash your robes? You know, it's a living. Uh, yeah, I will start your Temple of Ikov quest. <laughs> I'm up for it. Chamber of Fear. Well, good thing I just wanted your cute little pendant. Look at that, pendant illusion. Now I got a necklace slot on. Red. Yes, I am aware. The lever is here for Ardoin, the easy task. I do not want to go out there. The only things I will keep... Don't want to mess up my inventory, one second. Only things I'm going to keep are a couple seeds, and I'm risking almost one and a half mil. So, maybe not. I can't start Regicide or any of the other arty quests yet, so this is what we're gonna see, him telling me to go away. Do you like to buy a drink? What do you serve? Beer! Well, I'm doing Alfred Grimhand's bar crawl. Ah, uh, fancy bit of heart stopper, it'll only be eight coins. Ooh, I'm gonna, ooh I don't want this one. <clears throat> oh my chest! Whoa, that hit hard, bro. Ooh, ah, ooh. I'm gonna perf. <laughs> Holy frick, that's so bad. I'm gonna sell you my U shield. I can get more U locks. I need your axe. Oh my god, I might buy some arrows too with these remaining 4,000 coins. In fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to hop around and hope my scimitar stays there. I just need a few more arrows. Holy crap, that beer was bad. Beautiful chunk picker. What are my tasks? Uh, not alternatives, sorry. Uh, use the altar in the East Ardoin Church. We've done that many times. And easy task 10. Uh, and obtained a giant key. So that is everything for our task. We're gonna pick our chunk. Roll this, it's either Falador or the Lumberyard. Falador or L Lumberyard, okay. Let's go over to the Lumberyard. There's not very much to do here. I can make a plank. I can kill a black knight. That's pretty much it. Uh, it's just going to be a progress chunk 
over to Falador. I'm sorry, Kuzanogan. I know this chunk was your absolute hell for a while. Stop the world hopping. We're down to three coins and 900 arrows, and I've sobered up greatly. Now we gotta go over to the lumber yard. The least tiles for me to incorrectly go in is gonna be Lumberage Home Teleporting. See you soon. As a heads up, I was running through my Barak chunk to go up to the lumber yard. I got an earth impling, dropped me a fire talisman. Just wanted to let you know that I got some hunting XP well inside one of my chunks. All right, it is time to leave the rock of our normal chunk. Go a little north through the choppy frame rate land. Ooh, boy, we've got some really choppy frame rate today. Uh, you know, it's part of having a bunch of clients open. You just sometimes don't get frames. And that's just kind of your life. All right, we're gonna be taking our first steps into the chunk up here. I may as well do it on a road. Haven't unlocked any additional music tracks here, so I know I've stepped up here once, but I didn't step into this chunk yet, so here we go. Doorways, very nice. Kill this imp since it just wandered inside. Always like a good free imp kill. Ooh, don't instant kill it. Hopefully it doesn't get away on me. That would absolutely suck. But I think, uh, yeah, I guess I can't get that in. Anyway, we'll explore around a little bit here. This is our tavern to go into. Uh, I believe it is the Jolly Boar Inn, if I'm remembering the name correctly. And our Black Knight friend up there is who we will be, uh, killing for a little bit of training in this chunk, aside from the men and women that are all around. We can look at this statue and talk to uh, Anna Jones here, but I guess she doesn't want us to touch the statue. She's just on break, you know, sitting on her bench, having a good day. We can go all the way over here to the right. We can actually go pretty far to the right. Uh, we can go to the earth altar. This is all assuming we had the things to do the activities with. Um, I can't go very far out of here, but I can step right outside of this gate. Isn't that cool? If I had a knife, I could get some sticks from this bush right here. Same ones you get in Mauritania. Not that it's uh, a useful fact, but it is a fun fact. Uh, if I had a earth altar or earth talisman from anything, a little imp runs through here. I could visit it. I don't think it will though. This is a task to go over this little broken fence here, I believe. And if it's not a task to do that, it is a task to chop a dying tree in the lumberyard. Also, the kittens are here for Gertrude's cat. We can go upstairs. I don't think Fluffs is here. Uh, seeing as we haven't started Gertrude's cat, it would be kind of irrelevant, but the best thing about here is this sawmill operator, if you ask me, because he unlocks us a new skill. He sells us nails, bolts of cloth, and a saw! We got a saw! Got our cadentine seeds on the ground there for my main to pick up. I'm just killing some men and women here. There's also a thief. All of these I've already killed, I just am killing five more anyway, you can kind of tell by the bones on the ground. I will pick them up and bury them, it's more just so I can see them through the KCs, because I didn't check what I was at beforehand. Either way, that's the five men and women. Now I kill the Black Knight, but I should pick up my bones first. I call forth the spirits of Hanani, give me this log. Thank you. That is an easy task. And now I'm also going to make a plank with this same log, like so. I didn't bring any coins, so it took me a little bit of those tiny coin drops, but that's two easy tasks done. And then I'm going to pick up my saw, drop my coins, and pick back up my mithril scimitar. Uh, I'm gonna need more coins for my beer, so I'm gonna figure out how I wanna do that. Okay, so black knights, right? They're drops, iron full helm, steel mace, uh, maybe, okay, some runes, some herbs, some seeds, steel bar, tin ore, flour, gem drop table, um, j giant mole, I, I don't know if that's the one, yeah, here we go, uh, thief, yes, thieves, nothing new for them, I can kill them in Varrock. 
everything is killed, there's nothing for us to do upstairs, and we have even looking KCs now. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm on Alfred Grimhand's bar crawl. Ah, you're gonna want my old suspicious. Ugh. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, why is there five of you? I don't need my money. Lose money, I want my sword. Hello, Chunkus Pickus. Make a normal plank at the sawmill and hop over and cut that tree down. Done and done. Where are we going? Well, I don't think we had much choice. I guess we're going to Falador. Now that we're going to Falador, I have a lot of tasks to do. I have a lot of mole to kill. I've got to get 70 prayer. I've got to level all my combat stats up so I can adequately kill the mole. Luckily, I have an enclosed light source and I can teleport back. Uh, apparently, I can finish Pirate's Treasure. I actually can't. I could have, I think, but I messed up how I did it and in the order that I did, so I'd have to be breaking my chunk entry for it. I'm also going to go for the baby mole pet. Um, this might seem controversial, but I'm going for the barbarian queen pet, so I'm going to also go for the baby mole. I'm not going for skilling pets because those are so RNG dependent. Um, boss pets are a little more reasonable. I'm also going to be changing my drop rates as well, and I'm going to get back to you on what the drop rate I decide on is. Alright, we've done pretty well to get to Falador from Lumbridge without losing many chunks. And finally, we can get in at a diagonal! Look at it! We got a diagonal chunk entry! We saved two chunks on either side from getting unlocked. I am a happy man. Is anybody else as excited as I am to see this again? It's been a very long time since I've gotten to go in this bank. And oh boy, look at all these new things to put in here. So many seeds, new collectibles, uh, new gems. This is great. I mean, I already had some diamonds, but still, I've got a saw now. I can start training my construction, which is probably going to be hell for the early levels, but we're going to figure it out. We got iron bars for portal entry or clay for uh, fireplaces, and I think we can do ponds as well. So, we've got a few options. I'm not too, too worried about that. I can sell so, so many oak shields to the general store here, because there was no general store um, in the Grand Tree at all, so it's time to finally get rid of all of these unstrungs, because they're not going to be helpful to me in my bank. They're just going to cost me a lot of space, and they are a lot of waiting money. Also, 250 nature runes. Don't disrespect those chests. Also in my bank, I had a couple clues. May as well start them, see if I can do any of them. Talk to Cassie and fail it. Uh, I, I can talk to Cassie. I can talk to Cassie, okay. Okay, two clues. No! No! That would have been a guaranteed easy. That sucks! Anyway, we have a, a beginner in Barak. I just want to get my strange plant here first. 
if anybody's wondering why I can do this clue, it's because I have a direct teleport to Falador and a direct teleport to Varrock. So there is mode of transportation between my two chunks. Okay, now can I do this beginner clue? Put back on my Panda Lucian. I cannot! We're going not to Draenor Village. That is going on the ground. Okay, I'm going back to Falador. I could sell to this general store, but Falador's is sold to less, and we're going to sell the bows. Listen to that raking ASMR. Oh, that's the good stuff right there. I tell you what. I, I love the sound of raking in the morning. It really does us wonders. It's been a while since we've raked anything, you know? At least we got one weed here. We might actually get four weeds from this one rake session. We have a bunch of oak seeds. In case anybody wonders why I'm raking this. Uh, and we are going to be planting trees. Now... For all of you Buzz fans out there, no, I cannot grow magic saplings in this chunk. I can, but I'm not doing it. I can get a magic seed from the mole with exchanging bird nests with Wyson, but Wyson does not come into my chunk. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to grow normal oak trees. I'll probably go up to maybe willows or maybe maple trees. Because I'm pretty sure I'd like to have a tree that does not grow in Falador, growing in Falador, so I can have constant access to it. Obviously, the best tree to have would be a magic or a yew tree. If I ever get a magic seed, I probably will try to plant it because I need those magic bones. Or magic... <laughs> magic bones! Magic logs. So I can make a magic short bow and magic long bows. I'll get two different spec weapons That'd be the first spec weapons on the account. It'd be crazy guys. We could finally use the meter. Also. We're still raking finally We got the weed No, oh, I'm sorry guys. I broke the chunk already. I was trying to catch an imp I failed to catch it and it pulled me out of the chunk. I was spam clicking to stay in, but it just pulled me right out. Uh, either way, escape soft. First of many farming levels, we can grow hammerstone hops. I'm gonna keep weeding and I'm gonna keep hopping for imps because right now the best thing I can do is get oak planks and other building material. Well, isn't there an egg on my face? I forgot to mention, I made almost 400k selling all those bows and hopping big money. You're never gonna guess what we've gotten. It's a medium clue. I killed a couple guards and I've opened a lot of jars and that is a Falador clue. We're gonna open Baby and Young's and hopefully get some for in here. Ooh, there's a Charlie step. I'm just gonna drop it because there's, for at the moment I'm just gonna stack them and there's not really many Charlie steps I can actually do. I, there's like maybe two I can do. Nine times out of ten, a Charlie step is just means that that clue is not going to happen. I'm going to drop this medium clue before I open up the gourmets. Ah, I can't do that easy clue. That is going in the bad pile. I'm going to open these earths. I just need to open these last few uh, medium chance ones. Come on, I don't want them to despawn. I know I've got the new two and a half minutes. We're really spoiled now, us chunked men in snowflake accounts. We get this. Oh, frick, I opened up an extra one. Well, I can't do this one at all. It's observatory. Gonna keep opening up these earths. Come on, let's get lucky. We're not up all night to get lucky, I don't think. No. We can buy a couple maces here from Flynn. Gonna buy an adamant mace, which is our new best in slot crush and prayer boosting weapon. Fun little side facts. Also, we'll pick up a Mithril Mace for the easy clue step. I don't think it's in any of our chunks, but you know what? It's a clue item. I'm gonna pick up all of that stuff. Just you wait. I'm gonna check my ring of forging in the most Chad way possible. By smelting iron and hoping it doesn't explode. 67 health at 148 guards killed. Well, I thought this drunken man was gonna give me a level here. Uh, he actually has just a little bit too small of health to give me this one. He is how you can get beginner steps and I think easy steps in this chunk and he's also the only way other than trees. So that kind of sucks. 
Once he appears, though, we're gonna have an attack level. Where are you? Okay, there we go. 41 attack, and give me your coins. That's 42 attack off of guards. Five farming, very nice. Mm, you're gonna have two little HP this time? No, 43 attack off the drunken man. This is a monumental day. We become a real estate owner. Finally, we can invest into the world of Gilinor. I would like to buy a Remington home for 5,000 coins. My house is already- Oh! I have a home? Why did I buy a house? 44 attack. 45 attack. Do I sound like a robot yet? 44 defense. Oh, we got six farming on the weed, on the weed, yeah. Oh, where is this heckin' troglodilus? Where is this guy? Where's that drunken man? There he is. Stab him. Stab him. Get him! Get him! 45 defense. We are ascending. We will not be hit. We are Moosebar. Mmm! Two whole iron ore! I got such a tasty treat! I better smith this up good. I've also got a book of knowledge, which is not going on crafting. It's actually going on construction. I want to give a tiny little boost. We are going to take a little visit over to Varrock. My hamsters are going crazy in the background, don't worry, everybody's okay. We need to pick up some arrows, and we do have uh, a decent coin right now to do so with. So we're gonna get as many arrows as we can, and uh, I'll talk to you later. We're done with our world hopping. We're going back to Falador. We've gotten 500 adamantite arrows. It's for the mole! Oh boy, here we go. Yes, proceed regardless. I'm not gonna extinguish my lights. Okay, where are you, mole? I've unlocked the mad mole. Good. Good, good, good. I'm stuck here. <laughs> I have to break junk or uh, die to get out of here, I just realized. But we'll get to that when we need to leave. Either way, I gotta find an open world because... Oh. Looks like my two main worlds are canned and taken. Try some random hopping. Hopefully we can get a mole without too, too much hopping around for a... Uh, maybe not. Ah, uh, well, at least that guy PK's in monk robes. It's a good name. Come on. Let's try 444. Oh, 444 looks... So oh, 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 there's a mole. But is there anybody here? I don't want to take this world. She's right there. Okay. I guess I can do this world here. Put left click, uh, left click attack always, because I'm gonna be needing to shoot at her a lot. Good instant hit there. It's probably gonna take a really long time to get this kill, close to 20 minutes or so, if I had to guess. Um, this is gonna be a while. Got to set up all my safe spot tiles and really everything. Next time you see. Some, oh, sh not here, not here. Uh, next time you see, like, me fighting Mole, you should see some more tiles on the ground and more stuff going on. Either way, I've kind of got a free phase here. Until you get Mole down to 100 health, or 50% of her HP, she is just going to sit here and let you shoot her. After that, she's going to start digging in tunnels uh, and moving around at random, so getting these nice early hits is great. I don't know if it's gonna stay that way though. I'm unequip, oh, excuse me. Let me unequip my helmet. Keep shooting up the molly. This is really, I mean, it's something. It's something is happening. We are shooting her uh, and arrows are going on the ground. I'm just not hitting. Um, I guess. We'll be back when I've killed this mole for the first drop of mole stuff. Because this is gonna take a hot minute. I'm gonna smack her first. To see if stabbing her works a little better though. Do a little flinch maneuver. Oh. Little flinch maneuver. No. Well, it did take 20 minutes. We've got the mole skin and mole claw unlocked. Also, a great amount of bloods. Well, my world got taken, 
and I hopped to try and find another world and I haven't found any usable. Uh, so we have to break our chunk here and use this rope to get out because I forgot those teleport rooms. It's either this or dying and I don't want to watch uh, myself die in front of somebody who can kill them all in five seconds. It just will hurt my main. Okay, that is Mole KC number two. This one took about 19 minutes, so we got the time down a little bit. Uh, don't really have my stuff set up yet, but look at this. Teleport to Falador, and we're in Falador. I can bank. Kill three went very much the same as the other kills, except this one took half the time. I got really good RNG and finished it in nine minutes and a half. Uh, probably more like nine minutes with the login and looking for mole time. Uh, no iron ore yet, but that's what we're looking for. Kill 4 had even less to tell you about. It took about 15 to 16 minutes to do, and I got some fire runes. So, you know, I guess that's cool. Kill 5, very good drop, 100 U logs. Now, uh, it, it might not be great for a main that's 20k, but for me, that's great. That's 50 U shields if I want, or 100 U short bows. Kill number six wasn't very much of anything. Got some air runes. So I mean, cool, air runes. Kill number seven, here you can kind of see I'm starting to get my uh, safe spots marked out. A lot of little jokes all over the place. But this one is huge. I get an amulet of strength and I also have a lamp in my inventory. Um, I, I don't know when I'm gonna use this lamp, but I'm gonna hang on to it for a minute. Hopefully I don't die with it. I think I can get one more giant mole kill here with this one pizza, maybe. I'm not really sure where my 8KC uh, clip went, but it doesn't exist and I don't remember what I got and I'm very sorry about that. At 9KC, I got the iron ore drop. I wasn't recording at the time, but I did get this little screenshot of it. Either way, we're gonna be smelting all of that iron into bars. Now that we have it, we're gonna use it to train construction, and then we're gonna use this lamp on construction a little further into the training so we get the most that we can out of it. We also went from level 15 to 18 smithing from smelting the iron ore. We've got our teleport runes to go to our house and back to Falador. We cannot teleport outside of our house, so to go into building mode every time, this is what I have to do. I go to my build, and I can go to settings and change it. I'm sorry you can hear my main crafting potions in the background, but we have to build another garden uh, so that I can make more of these entrance portals with this beautiful centerpiece and with my iron bars. There we go, exit portal. You don't wanna get screwed not getting able to leave your house. There we go, level two construction and a total level of 925. And we're gonna build another one. I think we still got another construction level. Oh, that's good, level three construction, two levels in one inventory. Here is level four construction. We can make a wooden bookcase. Cool, we can read some lore. I'm gonna keep building here. There's level five construction. I can build a kitchen, which I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna build a kitchen. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. And that looks good. Should be fine. I'm just gonna rotate it so I get doors a little more accurately, actually. There we go, that's a little better. And the larder's right at the corner, that's perfect. And uh, the goal of this room is really getting that 33 for the oak larder. For the remainder of the construction grind, I'm just going to be letting it speed by. Uh, as a chunk man, I will build every room as I unlock it and build at least the first tier of furniture for that room if I can. I'm not going to be able to make everything. I can only get access to oak planks, gold bars, um, iron bars, and soft clay. Soft clay from imps, like implings. Uh, gold bars and oak planks from implings, but not the the wandering imps. And iron bars are from mole or from the guards or from the white knights inside of Falador Castle, which they can drop up to two at a time. So they'll probably be the way I train my construction on this account. Also, the main level goal I'm going for is 50 
for access to Yanil and Brimhaven, so I can put my house there and teleport to house to be back to those chunks again whenever I want to, just at the flip of a coins, so to speak. I'll have to very, very expensively charter ship around the world via teleporting to my house. Also, 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 am I right? Planks, normal planks. I can get them at uh, Barbarian Outpost. Can I go to out Barbarian Outpost? No siree, Bob. I can't go there until we're done with this chunk. But I just wanted to mention I will have normal planks available to me in Barbarian Outpost, and I can train my construction through a very convoluted method requiring me to either wait and use the minigame telly or have um, games necklaces on me 24-7. We've gotten 10 construction so far, and we're gonna open up this lamp, if you know what I mean, for construction, smithing, construction, smithing, construction, smithing, crafting. That's right, it's going on crafting. I just had a maze give me almost 1,500 iron arrows and 49 coal. That's pretty great. I'll take that coal any day. 46 attack. 47 attack. A bunch of noises of gas in the background. And 52 prayer. Very good combination. 48 attack. You're getting some rare live microphone audio with a shite ton of background fan. We just broke the account and got workshop accidentally. I clicked what I thought was here from the bank, but it was actually, will I hover it? Well, fuck, I already walked here, it doesn't matter, I walked here. So, I, I really was trying to not go into the right, so I guess the only side I haven't broken chunks on is the left and the bottom left corner. God, I'm good at this. We got seven farming! We can grow cabbages! Yeah, 49 attack happened, but I forgot to get a clip of it. 50 attack. 52 attack! And somebody who says me. Yeah, we got it farming from the weeded content. It comes again, we got on. Yeah, it farming, you put your rake on down and you pull it again. Get the weeds on good. You put it in the bank, get the weeds on bad. It makes us stink, you put them on the ground. It ain't no good. You try to give them to your homie like you knew you should. He didn't want them. Oh, we got 54 attack. And a baguette to back it up. We had another book. And another book of knowledge. It's going on to crafting again. 47 defense. 50 defense. And 68 health. I am about to get, about to get, about to get, to get, to get a nerd logged. About to get, about to get, about to get it nerd logged. But also we got 51 strength. Can you tell that uh, it's just killing guards? The game, the area, the chunk. 52 strength. We're getting stronger. Farming, farming, nine farming, nine farming. We can grow Guam, we can grow Guam. This is Buzz RNG, I swear, I swear. I wouldn't have died to the moles otherwise. I said hey to Buzz, and then I died to the moles. There's no other way. I'm just joking. This is not on Buzz. This is just me getting skill issued by the mole when I had full HP. I did lose a book of knowledge, so that kind of sucks, but... That's okay, that's the only thing I lost, and that's a fair exchange. Also, hey Buzz, if you're watching this, I uh, hope you like it. We got Giant Mole Novice at 10kc and some Fire Runes. Kill 11 for another 105. Fire Runes. Sick, this takes so long per kill. We got another Book of Knowledge. This is right away going on crafting. I'm not risking planking and dropping it again. I'm taking the clip right now. There we go, 15 crafting XP. Oh, whoa, look at that. 75 range out of nowhere. I haven't been training. Red rolls time. Big 5-4 strength there. 
and a tooth half of a key. I think that means we can make a crystal key now. Oh, you sure bet it does. That's a crystal key unlocked. Okay, these guys are nuts. I just got a nature talisman from them. This is looking really good. Anyway, can we get a nice in the comments for 69 HP, 53 praying. We hit 60 strength and are 684 white knights in. Are you kidding me? I got another tooth half of a key. 861 kills in. That's pretty wild. Smelting off our iron ore from guard kills. We can now make iron nails with 19 smithing, which is very useful, and we're close to 10 farming. 14 construction! 15 construction! Apologies for rolling around noises in the background. I got a hamster and a ball going. We got 16 construction, and we are gonna go make a dining hall, because I forgot to make one. We've been making workbenches now, since we can start using our oak planks for it. And uh, it's going a lot better. A lot more efficient, a lot more smooth. Gotta pay 5k though, which is never fun, but it's only 5k for this. Cash stack is quickly depleting. Hamster is fastly rolling. But you know what, we're gonna have a nice dining hall. And this house will look nice eventually, just that's a while down the road. Want to see something wild? 17 construction. I remove this repair bench. Build one. Oak planks. Remove it. Build one. Remove this one. Build the final one. And 18 construction. We also got 975 total from the 17 construction. That's how quickly these levels go with the planks. Also, you better know I'm gonna build that Asgardian ale barrel. Listen, listen, listen. I'm sure we would all love to hear me say every single construction level I have gotten, but I'm up to 28 construction now. Let me do it this way. Nice and easy, simple, quick, fix, perfect. Hope y'all enjoy it. 54 Hunter, I've been using Dark Lore in my main for my chunk man. It's going great. Level 10 farming, isn't that cool? 276 chickens have been killed for one beginner clue. I don't like those odds. 1,124 white knights for 64 strength. Oh yeah, 11 farming, one to go and we can boost for an oh. Oh, finally, more fishing XP. I'm sorry I get it more than flipping old school does, but that's 25 fishing, I can fish for pike. My hamster is still rolling all about, but we've got 65 strength. I don't know if you've noticed, but I do like to get these levels on something I can guarantee for a clip via, let's say, a chicken. And uh, the white knight loot is getting really nice. Really getting some stacked loot here in Falador. 78 wood cutting. I was close to a level. 12 farming. We can grow tomatoes, but actually we can boost for an oak. Behold, fellow chunk men, with your summer and garden pies all about. Uh, we can boost with this to plant these oak seeds right into these little plant pots here. And then we can water them and uh, we'll have some oak saplings ready to boost again and plant into the ground. And I believe we can pay for them actually. They should be five, uh, I don't know if they're five tomatoes. But I'm gonna see what they are, and if I can't, well, it's okay. We'll deal with that. Jesus, we got a crazy hamster going on. I was just doing some more wood cutting while I waited for more weeds. And also, uh, for these saplings to be ready. I have a super compost here, and it is tomatoes. I don't think I can pay for it, because I need a basket or a sack. Uh, one of them. Either way, we can plant after we use the super compost. I also could have used this super compost way earlier and gotten a good boost and I didn't even think about it but oh well that's fine that would have been a decent amount of XP in there anyway oak sapling I'm still level 15 farming at the moment uh, I need a spade Ooh, luckily there is a spade right over here and I'm just gonna run right over here steal this spade and I'm glad that since when this clip is being done 
that door actually opens the other direction now to get that spade. It's a very nice little change they made. All right, let's plant it up there. A basket of tomatoes. Yeah, I have individual tomatoes, so she will not take my tomatoes. Alas, let's hope it grows. This is a tough one. I have two baskets. Two whole baskets. I can sacrifice this strawberry basket, but I don't keep the basket. It's just gone. This is a pretty nice drop. Three blood runes and a genie. I'm gonna put that on to crafting for 20 XP. And we're closer to level three. I cannot believe that this man would drop a stamina potion nor drop it next to me in Iron Man, but there is 13 farming. We got our first oak. In the process of clearing that tree, I managed to get a elite clue nest. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Eyeworth camp? Probably not, but you know, someday. Oh yeah, I forgot that when I'm gonna put this uh, compost in here, that's 14 farming. One level away from 15, and that'll be the next tree harvest. Also, that's 1,000 total with farming, yes! Yes, 1,000 total farming! This is gonna be the last time for a while I can use a lot of the stuff in my bank. I'm gonna open up these nests. Nothing really great there. Ooh, 20, 20 nature runes and a heart clue scroll in miscellaneous. Okay, uh, and I lied. Those seeds are actually pretty good. I got a seed that I can plant here. I'm gonna kill this imp too, but um, I'm gonna be free to play for a while. I do still have one more bond, so I will be okay, but I'm gonna be free to play for a bit. Well, everybody, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a comment down below telling me your favorite part. We are going to be quite a while uh, before we have any content for another episode of this. It'll likely be a couple months because unless I get extremely lucky on Mole, I'm going to be here a very long time. And either way, I need to get 70 prayer. So I'm going to be training for quite a while for 70 prayer before we can go to Barbarian Assault, but after we get the mole and we complete our 70 prayer requirement, we can go to Barbarian Assault, and that is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to get to play with members of our community, uh, other content creators, and have a good time. Anywho, off to a little juggling section here. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. See you next time. Yo, what's up, skaters? Just want to include some more real-life content than just juggling this time. I do skate a fair bit. Not nearly as much as I used to. I haven't skated frequently in over a year. But if I can get out and I feel up to it, I generally try to at least do some ollies, some 180s, some basic, like, shove it tricks. Because it feels good, and... When my shoulders and hips and ankles aren't bothering me from dislocations and sprains I've taken, uh, I can do some stuff. Otherwise, though, I need to take it easy. Anyway, enjoy! Hello! I don't know if it picked up my shoulder popping from all the way over there, but let's hope it did! So, I got six balls here. Six whole balls. We'll start with three. It's been a while. Look at that. Beautiful, good, fluid motions swapping between 
is not a problem. You take four. Four is, you know, you take a little more concentration. But it's not that bad. Well, I say that, I dropped the ball. Now, I've been struggling with five, but I've got five a lot better. So let's see about that. Do, 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 look at this go. We're doing five balls at once. I might be doing it wrong, but you know what? Uh, I have not had professional circus training in over eight years. So, fight me. Ah. Okay. That's five, right? Moving up now. I don't think I've ever successfully done this one on camera. And uh, mainly because I only successfully did it a few minutes ago in my apartment. Well, let's see. Six balls. Ooh, I don't know. I don't like that stir. Let's try that one more time, right? Six balls. No, 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 no. The balls went all over the room. When they say balls to the walls, they don't mean like that. Apologize for all the bend shots. I'm sure you're all enjoying. Or at least some of you. Anyway. Try that again. Six balls. So close. So, so close. We'll do one more attempt. And then it'll be a little while until you see me juggle again. If it's one or two in the main content, I can do it in the main. But I'll mostly be doing it for the chunk man. Okay. Well, I, I got the full six going. So I, it's, it's a start to the six ball. But we got to do a lot of work on that. So I'll see you again once I've done some work on that. For then, though. Hang on, I just... I just saw a very cute little kitty. Where did she go? She's coming over here one second. Uh, turn the screen around. You will not turn the screen around? My boy, look at this. Look at this. Look at this girl. Come here. This is Shrub. Hello, Shrubbery. How are you doing? Oh, you're gonna show the people of YouTube your. Oh, your back, not really your belly. Belly's under there, kind of hidden away. Oh my goodness. Is that another one? That's Finn. Oh my gosh, we got a Finn cameo. Shrub, stop it. Stop knocking my phone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Get to see my kitties. The other chunky. You know, I suffer little misses. Other chubby cheekers. It's all floof. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Until then, Shrubby, you got anything for them to say? Sounds good.